Afternoon, everybody. The dude from Skims here, www.harrysmooth.com. Now it's pouring down rain outside. Not much to do. I had to stay in the house anyway and watch old Mr. Shitty here. Got to watch him like a hawk so he doesn't dig into those stitches. You know, get down there. Start that chill. You want to see that again? <laughs> anyway, we uh, have what we call adult truths. I'm sure everybody's heard of them. You know, maybe not quite by that name, but we all deal with them every single day. And I'm going to go over a few of them with you just to maybe remind you of ones that you may have forgotten that you knew in the first place or to introduce you to some that you never heard of. So let's dig right in and get rolling with them. Number one, sometimes I'll look down at my watch three consecutive times and still do not know what time it is. <laughs> Nothing is worse than that moment during an argument when you realize you're wrong. I totally take back all those times I didn't want to nap when I was younger. Today's a good, good, what am I trying to say? God damn it. An example of that. Jesus Christ. Talk about your brain farts. There's a great need for a sarcasm font. How in the fuck are you supposed to fold a fitted sheet? Does Do you women even know how to do that? Was learning cursive really necessary? MapQuest really needs to start their directions on number five, because I'm pretty damn sure I know how to get out of my neighborhood. Obituaries would be a lot more interesting if they told you how the person died. I can't remember the last time I wasn't at least kind of tired. Bad decisions make good stories. You will never know when it will strike, but there comes a moment at work when you know that you just aren't going to do anything productive for the rest of the day. Can we all just agree to ignore whatever comes after Blu-ray? I don't want to have to restart my collection again. I'm always slightly terrified when I exit out of Word and it asks me if I want to save any changes to my 10-page technical report that I swear I did not make any changes to. <laughs> I keep some people's phone numbers in my phone just so I know not to answer when they call. <laughs> and you know we all do that. I do it with sales calls or bill collectors or whatever, but I call them rat fuck. And in my phone, now you guys that know me know I do this, I got rat fuck 1 through 127. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's rat fuck 119 calling. <laughs> I think the freezer deserves a light as well. I disagree with I disagree with Kay Jewelers. I would bet on any given Friday or Saturday night more kisses begin with Miller Light than Kay. I wish Google Maps had an avoid ghetto routing option. I have a hard time deciphering the fine line between boredom and hunger. Today, another good example of that. How many times is it appropriate to say what before you just nod and smile because you didn't hear or understand a word that they said? I love the sense of camaraderie when an entire line of cars team up to prevent a jerk from cutting in at the front. Stay strong, brothers. Oh, shirts get dirty, underwear gets dirty, pants never. Pants never get dirty and you can wear them forever. Shorts are the same way. Even under ideal conditions, people have trouble locating their car keys in a pocket, finding their cell phone, and pinning the tail on the donkey, but I bet everyone can find and push the snooze button from three foot away in about 1.7 seconds, eyes closed, first time, every time. The first testicular guard, the cup, was used in hockey in 1874, and the first helmet was used in 1974. That means it only took a hundred years for men to realize that their brain is all so important. <laughs> hey, if you guys think of any more of these adult truths, be sure and email them to me. I'll be happy to lay them out on the line for you. Well, everyone have a great and a safe day and a better one tomorrow. Your old pal Harry Smooth. We're gone.